If you want to get through the night, then you might need this through night flashlight. What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. I just picked this up. It's another through night flashlight here. And as you can see there, it looks like it's pretty small, but it's got a very large lens and reflector on the end for its size. So I think this should put out quite a bit of light. So let's check out this little light of mine. All right, so here's the through night, and you can see the model right there. So it's the through night catapult EDC flashlight, and man, there it is, wrapped up in plastic. We do get an instruction booklet here, so that'll show you the modes. We also get a USB-C to USB-A cable right here, so that is charging. We also get a lanyard right there, and here is the light itself. A little plastic attached to it, but man, this looks good. Tactical black anodized aluminum it's got nice weight but it's not super heavy but it's not super thin you know a lot of the flashlights that you see and get that are cheap feel like aluminum canisters but obviously this feels pretty robust i mean it feels like i could nail with it but you can see how big that lens is right there obviously this is pretty small right i can palm the whole thing and normally the flashlight is only the size of the handle and even this handle is a little bit big you can see here how it's got some flat surfaces here but this is like an inch in diameter and you can see how it steps up right there to this very large lens then a little rubber cover here and so we will have the USB-C port right there so that is pretty nice and then on this side we have the power button now I do want to show you how we open this up and this whole body here will come undone we have a little o-ring right there for waterproofing and then we have an 1100 milliamp hour 18356 battery it looks like 18350 battery is that what that says so either a zero or a six can't really tell it's a little worn off but that is in there just like this and so screw that all back together there and now if i hit this there it is turned on so first of all one click on one click off and then if i hold the button down we are kind of stepping up through the different levels so low medium high low medium high and then if i double click it we go to kind of a turbo level. This is quite bright. And then if I triple click it, we go to a tactical strobe. So that will definitely disorient people. Now, I want to show you that if I kind of go to a lower level, just like that, now I turn it off. And now I turn it back on, it stays at that low level. So we have memory right there as well. So Catapult Mini V2 here, very small, but obviously quite bright. And now what I want to do is charge this up and then we will go outside in the dark and see if it will illuminate the scary wilderness. All right, so I'm out here, cold, dark night. You can see I have a light behind me here. So the area in front of me here is illuminated a little bit, but uh, out there in the real wilderness, there is nothing but darkness, silhouettes of trees. In fact, no real moon or stars tonight. So we have a pretty decent amount of cloud cover tonight, but that should actually make this test even that much more interesting. Ooh, one of the lights just went out. So, all right. So I'm just going to turn on this catapult here, man. And like I said, we've got multiple modes to test, but look at that. Just illuminating the trees out there and the trees way out there, right? Man. It's like a tractor beam of light. So if I hold it down, all right, that is the low mode, which would be perfect for hiking. I mean, 30 feet out there, that is well illuminated. And you can see that center beam, but you can see the flood goes really far out. I mean, probably 15, 20 feet on either side. So it illuminates it pretty nicely. Now, if we go up to the medium here, this is probably the mode I would use if I were moving at some speed, jogging, which I don't know why you'd ever want to do that, but biking, those types of things. But man, just everything turns to high def. I wonder if we'll see anything out here tonight. And then if I go up one more mode here to bright, man, this is just like a search beam. And sometimes we've got coyotes and stuff. I can hear them out here, but I don't see anything tonight. Sometimes we can get a little lucky. But if we did and we saw some eyes looking back at us, I could double tap this button and get that turbo going. You can see that void right there. I mean, there are trees, I don't know, 50 yards beyond there, and those are getting illuminated. Trees, 50 yards beyond those trees, kind of right in the middle there, illuminated cell. Man, you could just light up anything. Look at the trees way down there. I don't wanna wake up any of the neighbors, make them feel like someone's breaking in their house, but I tell you what, this little tiny flashlight fits in the palm of my hand. I can hold it with two fingers here, 
just super duper bright. I totally dig it. If you want to pick up the through night to get you through the night, I think you can't go wrong. I'll put a link to it in the description below. Peter Von Panda, out. We can discover more and explore so much deeper.